Good morning everyone, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. 9.24 on Saturday, there's no news today, of course there's no news today. Isabel's been raving. With her... Uh, whiskey. And right, yeah, so, hi, Saturday, it's not Friday. I know, we took a day off. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, because we do that kind of thing. I'm looking lovely though, as per usual. And yeah, so let's check the mail. What have we got going on here? We have Nook Shopping and something from Twix. To my BFF. Oh, Twiggy, if only you knew. It's, you know, really hard sometimes to tell someone how you feel face to face. I decided to put my feelings in a letter. Here goes, I'm happy you're my friend. I got one from Fawny yesterday, so which actually broke my heart. I was out for a walk on the beach just now when I remembered a funny thing you said once, and it made me smile all over again. I thought you should know that, so that's why I sent you this note. I'm very emotionally vulnerable right now, Fauna and Twiggy. Can you leave me alone, please? <laughs> oh, good. Right, anyways. So, it is the start of a brand new day. I did actually play yesterday, I just didn't record. So, hi, right, Grizz. How you doing, buddy? Good talk. I did move a house, and a second house, so this is Pashmina's house, this is Buck's house, we're going to move a third one over here, ooh, yes, I did actually plan this out, so that it would have two spaces between it and the river. Um, I'm trying to not do too much planning now, I'm just trying to like put the houses in, they're going to be even and lined up, but not necessarily the whole thing going to be totally, utterly planned out and stuff like, hello, beautiful. Always, buddy. Always. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find our uh, recipe. Go check the beaches as well. It is unfortunately a Saturday, which means it's KK Slider Day, which means it's the worst day of the week. Weird how that works. Indeedy. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, you open that, right? So we need to go find whoever's crafting our morning recipe. Let's have a little look for a bootle on the beach. The biatch, no, not the biatch. <laughs> um, and also, a quick little cheeky check at the map. Red's not here, is he? I don't think Red can come. I'm not, I'm not going crazy right now. I don't think he can come on days when... Um, KK's here. I don't think anyone can come on the day that KK's here. It's nice to check, but no, it's not that right away. Which is really the only main problem with KK, is that it stops anyone else visiting. It's the same with Daisy May tomorrow, it stops everyone else visiting. Which is a pain. So, so, giant elephant in the room. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about it. <clears throat> because, because I tend to talk about things. It's about the only excuse I have. I talk about things, so let's talk about things. I am currently going through a breakup, as of yesterday morning. Um, it was mutual and the right decision, blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't matter how mutual the right decision it is, it's still painful and it hurts. And you start to miss all the little things they did and you get lonely and all this kind of jazz. So I did try to record yesterday and I kind of... <laughs> I must be someone who came for uh, turnips. I, I kind of I tried to record yesterday and I kind of had like a, several mini breakdowns in the video <laughs> when I went for his letter. I was like, oh no, it's coming, it's happening, I'm dying. Um, so that's why there was no content yesterday. I know people totally understand that, I don't need to explain it, but I'm, I'm just saying, you know, for my own reasons, really. Where's this bloody bottle at? Is it over here? It's always over here. So we're going to take things fairly chill today, but we do have plans, we do have things to do. Where is the bloody bottle? Anyways. I should, in theory, and I'm sure people will suggest, you know, you can, I'm sure I can take as much time off as I want. This, this channel, though, isn't work for me. This isn't a job, this is something I do for fun, because I like doing it. And logging on every morning, and playing Animal Crossing... Oh, there it is has become like this big part of my day that I really, really enjoy. And as tempting as it is to... Yeah, I already knew that one, yeah. As tempting it is, is, as it is to become a, you know, a total hermit and hide away and all this kind of jazz, 
it's not what I really want to do. So whilst yesterday was a step too far, I feel okay today. And I think maintaining as much normality as possible is the better way to handle it for me personally. Oh wait, let me check something. I do this in order. Who was our third villager? Do we know? Was it Hornsby? Is it in this order? I think it's in this order, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it's Hornsby third, okay. Anyways. <clears throat> Anyways. Just want to explain. And if I do <laughs> seem a little odd every now and again, that's probably why. And I am okay. I genuinely am okay. Um, everything's fine. It's just... You get little hits every now and again. It just it comes in every now and again and it, it hits you pretty hard. At the end of the day, there was, you know, nine months or something like that. It was a decent length of time. For me, actually, nine months is my second longest relationship, so... Yeah. <sighs> KK Mambo. Mambo number five! Amazing. But anyways... I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to try not to talk about it anymore. We probably will. You know what I'm like. We'll have like a little frank discussion about it. But I just want to say the reason we're doing this and maybe the Best of Slot channel is taking another day off is just because... Wait, what am I doing here? Like I say, this doesn't feel like work. This feels good and I want to maintain some normality. So here we are. It might be depressing normality, but it is normality. Alright, what are we dealing with today? I wanted some lamp posts. Don't, don't know why... Lamp and post was so disparate there, but there you go, street lamp. Do I mind the- maybe I don't mind the green, it's got kind of like a foggy little London kind of vibe to it. I've been a little unconvinced. It does go with my uh, telephone box. Let's have a look what else there is. Do I like the blossom? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not vibing on any of it really. I am going to bring in some street lamps, quite a few of them. Oh, let's just buy them now, I know I'm going to need at least five, so. Oh, game, could you not make this any slower? <laughs> Why are you making me do this one by one? It's so bad. Oh, this is so bad. There's just no need. There's genuinely no need for it. I can only buy four, can't I? Yeah. Oh, bloody Nora. <laughs> At least I don't need the miles for anything. Obviously, we've got a ton of Nook Miles tickets from... Um... I don't think it's going to let me buy this one. Oh, maybe it's not limited because it's separate from the shopping thing. Okay, five's enough for now, anyway. Oh, we also need cash. Did I already get cash? I need 50k. No. Uh, let's take up 70. Zero, 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 zero. Adorable. I've got a decent amount of money considering we paid off our house loan. I don't think cash is something I'm going to worry about for a while. I will once again pick up a set of turnips tomorrow, but... Tommy boy, talk to me. We need to move Hornsby. Hornsby. That's what I said. Hornsby. And that'll be our first three houses moved. We're just very slowly going to start working and building up that area. That's really going to be our focus for a while now. Uh, layout changes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, oh, it's actually in order, isn't it? Yeah, because Pudge is our newest, and we've got rolled just before Pudge. Okay, cool. So we're going to go in this order, basically. Uh, you know, the the oldest people that have been here for the longest time, they deserve to be the first ones to move into the new property development. They deserve to have the beachfront property, which is the properties in that bottom side. So, that makes sense. And Hornsby's my boy, so he will actually be the first house you approach on the left-hand side. Look at him in his matching vest. <laughs> He's adorable. We'll do that today as well. We need to go buy some stuff for Hornsby, Fauna, and Rold. Give them their presents, try to get their friendship up, get their photos and stuff. Oh, special guest yesterday was... Uh, Sahara. Gave me a dungeon wall, which is nice, very suitable. And what else? Oh yeah, someone turned up at the campsite. So I was excited, maybe we'll you know get a cool new villager. And it turned out to be this weird 
Japanese styled mouse and it was horrible. <laughs> I just I walked in and turned around instantly. I was having no part of it. And that's that's literally about all that happened. Alright, anything exciting here? Do I have this? I don't think so. No, corkboard. I do have corkboard. Ooh, do I though? I know I have an item called corkboard, but I don't think it looks like that. I'm gonna grab it anyway. I'm not convinced. I actually have no idea. I'm gonna grab this. No, 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 I definitely have a giant rack, no. Nice chair, though. Is it a nice chair? How much is the nice chair? Bloody Nora, okay. This is why I always get out more money than I need in the mornings, because you know... Oh, hello. We can put this at the, um... At the dick site. Uh, toolbox? Side note, by the way, if you don't have a toolbox, get a toolbox. Especially if you're like living on your own or something. I know that sounds obvious, but owning a toolbox is the like the most important thing I ever purchased. So, well, that's new. Is that new? Is that new? I think they're both new. I'm gonna grab both. I don't know. I need a list. I need to start tracking these things. And also, the game needs to be cleverer. It needs to have like a little symbol next to things that you've already owned. You know. Grumble, grumble. Uh, right. Oh, I do like. I've already got that. I've already got. I, I, I already have that. We don't need it. Do I have the tiger print? I don't know, but I think so. Uh, I, th I don't know if I've got that. I assume I do because I buy all the ones that are a little bit darker and slightly fancier looking. But I just, I never know for sure. Not really. Right. So. I'm nearly done with the shopping, but we do need to do things. So, Nook Plaza. Now, I mentioned this a couple of days ago, but I'll go through it again. Oh, I'm alright. Cool. What we're going to do is find clothing for the three villagers that we are working on. So, that's rolled, first of all. Let me just pull that page up there. We're going to nip over to Mabel's. Oh, I need to make a mistake. And we're going to see what we can find in the shop today that suits Roald, basically. And we're going to give him a wrapped present, and hopefully he'll like me and eventually give me some cool stuff. We also need to buy a friendship buffering wrapping paper. Let's go orange today. I'd actually like to buy three if that's possible, but it's obviously not. Someone pointed this out, and it's very true. When you come to buy turnips, you can set the exact number of something you want. Why is that not a possibility on every shop item? Anyone have any ideas? <laughs> um, anyways, anyways. So how the friendship works is they start off at 25. The only way to lose friendship, by the way, it's not by um, ignoring them or anything like that. It doesn't do anything. But by hitting them with the net or pushing them around a lot, that will drop their friendship meter. They start at 25, you get one point of friendship a day for talking to them every day, once a day. And... Oh god, that mask. Oh god, the mask! <laughs> oh, the horror. <laughs> you get one point a day for talking to them, you get... What else do you get? I don't know. Alright, so let's see... Oh, yes, yeah, so you get points for getting rid of fleas, for doing, like, fetch quests for them... Giving them birthday gifts specifically, and in general, giving them a gift. So, what does Roald like to wear? Anything we have here. Please not that. That's all I'm asking. He does like straw hats. Okay, cool. We're going to buy that for Roald. The problem is there's no way to just buy all the items I want and then keep them on me. It's actually a really terrible system. Um, I don't want to keep complaining about the systems, but they're all awful. <laughs> Fauna is the other one. So let's see what we can buy for Fauna. Plus, I think Roller's going to look good in a straw hat. Also, Fauna also likes straw hats, but we did buy her a straw hat yesterday, so... We're looking for something a little different for Fauna today. Uh, sushi chef's outfit, work apron, coverall coat, raincoat, maybe? I don't know whether it's easier... There's, there's a lot of items, right? I don't know whether it's easier to just... Search? Yeah, raincoat, apparently. Beige. She's into beige. Is that beige? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that looks super cute on her. Okay. So, beige raincoat for Fauna. Red straw hat for Rolled. And then we need something for Hornsby. 
And really what we should be doing is... Actually, technically I should be doing this with the, um... The less popular villagers, because these guys are not likely to ever move out. And the idea is to get the photos before they move out, but... Bleh. Right, let's see what we can find for Hornsby. Um, probably not a basketball tank. Yeah, this is definitely the better way to do it. So what about Farmer of... Will he wear Farmer of Farmer? No, he is lazy, so that's not surprising. What about Frugal? He does wear the Frugal hat, I know that. Yeah. But not the Frugal outfit, apparently. Um... Right, they can't wear shoes and stuff. This one, this might be a little tough for this one. He's, he's, he's lazy. He's not going to wear athletic shorts and stuff. Nope. Don't think he's going to wear work. Nope. Or did I just type something very different? Nope. Um, raincoat. He might wear a raincoat. Yes, there we go. We need a green raincoat for Hornsby. And I clicked completely the wrong button. Cool. <laughs> okay, let's go back in, shall we? I just think doing any more than three a day would drive me insane. Whereas three a day I think I can do consistently. Saying that I didn't do it yesterday, but... I kind of want to wear the frugal mask, the frugal outfit, and the face mask. I think that would be such an amazing... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go buy them, because because they're cool. And it'd just be such an amazingly terrifying combination. I oh, really need to get on fishing as well. It's the 16th now. This month has flown by. And... Um... At some point, we need to get a golden trout. I'm not as worried about the other fish, but we do need a golden trout. Anyways. Anyways. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm a bit of a mess. I realised yesterday, just to randomly talk about personal stuff, I've had three breakups in the past two years. Now, that's including... So that's basically like, if the first breakup, as in after the relationship had already existed for months, started the timer. So there was the first breakup and then I got into another relationship a couple months after, a month after, something like that. And then after that breakup, it bled into the next one basically straight away. There was very little gap. Um, and I realised how, A, unlike me that is, because I, I don't serial date, I don't mass date or anything like that before. The first of those three girls, I hadn't dated about six years. I was single for ages. I, mean, I, I just, I, I haven't been single in a very long time now, and it's, that's very strange for me. <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I, th I think I just need to chill for a little bit, you know? This could be hard to do. Because you kind of get used to having someone there, and as much as your friends can be great, blah 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 blah, it's not, it's never, it's never quite the same as having, you know, an actual proper partner. But I am a firm believer, firm, firm, firm believer in the idea that you've got to, you know, love yourself and be happy on your own to be happy with someone else in the first place. So that's the idea. Anyways, I'm going to try to stop talking about it, but I'd like to talk about the things that are going on, what can I say? Clothing. Let's see if we can remember what we bought. It was a couple of raincoats. I love that one. What does that remind me of? Oh, practical jokers. Uh, two raincoats and a straw hat. If I was a straw hat, where would I would be there? I mean, we could always, if we don't find enough shop, we can come grab some of this stuff. This is all... Near enough all tradable. Uh, not the eggshell hat, but most of it. Okay. Oh, reindeer sweater. Oh, that's super cute. I want a reindeer sweater. Wait, do I already have a reindeer sweater? Yeah, okay. Moving on. So what we're going to do for the rest of today, we're going to go put down Hornsby's house. We're going to give out some gifts. If we can find Fauna or Rold. Also, who... Where's my bloody... Where's my recipe? You slackers. I don't think we talked to Pashmina today. Pashmina will be the one to save me. Nope. Well, it's nice that they're together though. It is very cool with me, kidders. 
<laughs> we're going to get rowdy. It's like 10am or something. We're going to get bloody wild. See you later, guys. They're my OG villagers. It's nice that the two of them are hanging out, you know? That's cute. Hopefully they hold up. Be terrifying babies. Okay, so there's a gap of three here. So I need a gap of three here, and then it lines up in the gap between there. So that's the back of the house right there. Gap of three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is fine. A little bit to the right. That's probably just about correct, maybe. Maybe. Look at that, I'm a bloody genius. Yes. And that leaves a two gap on the left so I can do a path. All planned out, folks. But not super planned out, moderately planned out. This river's going to come up. There's going to be a bridge over to around here. There's going to be a ramp up here, and then two more houses behind these two in the exact same place, but obviously vertically moved upwards. So there'll be a house here, and there'll be a house here, and there'll be a ramp here. And then the river's going to come up, come up onto the hill area, curve over to the right, and then go straight forward this way. And some houses will be on the left, some houses will be on the right. I, I do have an idea. Ish. Hey, there's my buddy. You go get that butterfly. I'm going to wrap your present for you. What is it for old? It's a hat, right? Yeah. I know, I'm disturbing you. You're busy. I'm always hype. Always hype. It's funny, I could have actually uploaded Mass Effect yesterday, because Mass Effect is pre-recorded by, like, ten episodes or something crazy. <laughs> oh, Ronald. Oh, that's super cute. They will come back and, like, keep wearing the, the stuff as well, you know, they'll, um... You can get it. I believe in you, buddy. <laughs> I don't know why I love him so much, but I do. He's my favourite villager in the game. Never mind your Raymonds and your Marshalls. Although I will say, Rold is quite popular as well. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> How can you not love him? Seriously. Uh, what are we doing for time? Let me have a little look. Okay, now plenty of time, plenty of time. There's a couple of things I want to do still, other than the, uh, the wrapping. And, you know, I, you know how I love to wrap. No, okay, that's not. Um, right, so I want to get some fencing. I haven't really thought of a big plan for how this is going to look layout-wise, which worries me a little bit. So maybe I should not do this today. I want to I do something we haven't done before. So what we're going to do is nip to the airport. And you shall see what you shall see. Can't wait till this. This is my big problem area now. Once the housing's done, this is our next big area to tackle. I just want this to all sync together and link in really nicely. This fence, this path is basically going to carry straight across. Maybe not straight across, but it's going to carry into here. Big plaza fountain area, and then that'll take you across into here. Is the idea. We shall see. Do, 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 do. Who's this? Oh, let's go give Hornsby his present. Plus, who is crafting the bloody recipe? There should always be somebody crafting the recipe. Is it Hornsby? Yes, my boy! You weren't before. I don't know where you are now, but... Oh, okay. This is actually useful. Um, Sorry, Poster. Uh, I do, but I know lots of people want this DIY recipe because it's one of the better ones in the game. So that would be a good one to give away to someone. Don't mind the cookie grease, buddy. We've all been there. Little owl... Right, so we need to wrap his present. It's gonna be... Oh, no. <laughs> There's a problem, okay. Right, it's not that one. It's that one. <laughs> I don't... I, as much as I hate to remove the Argyle vest, which is really cute that you're still wearing... I got your raincoat. He really digs this colour, because he does dig this colour. Love it. Oh, that's how you can tell by the way, so let me put this on. Uh, let me take that off. <laughs> um, I like my current look. If a villager 
is good friends with you will determine if they give you something back. You saw that Hornsby gave me back something for the present, whereas Roald didn't. Roald is much, much newer to the island, so <clears throat> we haven't managed to build up our friendship with Roald to the same level as Hornsby or even indeed a lot of them. Where's um Fauna's house? Just where's Fauna, basically? Do 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna go to see if Fauna's in the house. I haven't Have we spotted her outside? I don't think so. Do 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 do. Oh, there we go. No, wait, isn't this Hornsby? That's Hornsby. Wait, no, it's not Hornsby. Wait, it is Hornsby. <laughs> is that Hornsby? Is this Fauna? This is Fauna. And she's not in. Where are you, Fauna? Where doth thou be? Anyways. What was I saying? I've actually completely forgotten. It was something very exciting, though, I'm sure. It's always something very exciting. Fauna. Oh, what was that? That was a cooler. Vagrant, you numpty. <laughs> you know, cooler. Humanized deer. <laughs> Same thing, essentially. I wonder where she is. I mean, there's no guarantee she's outside. She could be in the museum. She could be shopping somewhere. I don't see her either way. Okay, so I want to go try something out. Oops, it is. I have no idea how those orange flowers are surviving. Alright, hops. What was I saying? It was something very interesting. Oh, gifting. No, oh, yeah. Um, they give you back something, and they give you back either bells or an item. Depending on A, your friendship level, and B, the value of the item. So, if they give you back something, I think it means you have better friends. We're going to Harv's Island. We've never, ever, ever been. <laughs> Talking about that island Harvey lives on. Watch that, good buddy. So, Harv popped up a long, like a month ago, basically. If not a little bit more. And I literally never visited. I never I never checked it out. He's like some hippie guy who lives off in the middle of nowhere. Jeez, buddy. Dodos would take an airplane. You're absolutely right. I do want to work on the residential area, but I also kind of want a plan in mind before I tackle it. Although we should work on it. Anyway, this is Harv's island. This is all of his little birdies. Hello. This is Harv. He's very chill, as you can tell. It's me. You made it to the island. You're welcome, buddy. I say buddy too much. <laughs> alright, alright. You, you don't need to drive it home that hard. And that is about it. So, how this works, I've, I've never done it myself, but I have seen many photos. I kept seeing these photos of everyone who had all their um, their people in together, right? They had all their villagers in one room. I had no idea how for the longest time. And this is how, this is how you do it. It's very groovy. Okay. I'm going to assume I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to assume I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, may see. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, so Z R. Oh, no. Uh. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. 
what said R? Which one said R? That one. Okay, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> so this is, what you can do is you can bring in your items, right? And it's free and you can kind of like, the idea is you can bring up any item that you've ever catalogued and you can set up a movie set sort of thing. But then you can bring in, I, need to, I don't know how to bring in characters. I mean, you got to talk to Harvey. I should have asked him. Oh, I'm sorry, Harvey. I'm sorry. Oh. 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 That seems really rubbish. I'm so confused now. I have to buy the amiibos to do this. Wait, that's not fair. <laughs> but they all live on my island. Harvey, you're rubbish. I'm leaving. What? I just figured, I figured how it worked was that um, you could just invite people from your island. Because that's what people do. But you have to use the amiibo to do it. That's silly. I guess this means you can invite people who you don't have on your island. You just have amiibos for. But I'd have to buy ten amiibos. I don't have any amiibos. Grumble, 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 grumble. You can get amiibos for pretty cheap, like little cards and stuff like that. Or you can make your own stickers, but still, I'm not going to do that for a photo studio. That just seems unnecessary to me. Wait, why? Well, no, because he said the neighbours on your island. So they have to be people on your island. Can you only invite people on your island via amiibo? So why not just invite them straight up? Am I missing something? Is there a way to do it without an amiibo? Please let me know in the comments, because... I'm perplexed by what a ridiculous system that seems to be. Uh, right. So, 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 I kind of want to... Grizzly, buddy, you are in... I was about to say, I want to work on the river. <laughs> You're just sitting there. Oh my god, right, okay. I'm just going to do some very basic stuff here. Uh, we need not. Is this close enough, far enough away from the house, even? Uh, hmm. <laughs> he looks so like old Americana. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that bothered about them having. Wait, I can't bring this down, can I? Because of this. Yeah, no, not really. I'm not that bothered about them having loads of room around the house. It's more how the whole area is going to look. Um, <laughs> okay. So we're going to start going up as well. In actually a triple. There are reasons. I figured... Right, I can't do my big sort of water feature dock area that I was planning. Because I just can't. Uh, the layout doesn't lend itself to it anymore, but what we can do is still like a little beach facing promenade sort of shebang. There's going to be a bit more grass than I would have ever liked, but I think we can still make it look pretty cool. At least we can now get around the side of the houses as well, which is obviously super helpful. But the idea is this third one along is going to have a railing going up it, blocking you from the actual beach. Not that, not that it will be completely blocked from the beach. You've got to be able to go down to the beach. So the path, the fence will go along here. And then if you wanted, you could probably run down here and then we'll do like a, a little beach thing over here, like a beach bar or something like that. I might change up what this path looks like just to mix things up, but we'll see. Do, do, do. Let's get rid of that rubbish. We'll just we'll, we'll do some basic stuff for this house. I'd like it to look moderately okay. I'm just going to focus on this one though. <clears throat> Try to set like a design idea out. Let's go grab some fencing and just general garden stuff. You know, I love garden stuff. For me, maybe some log stakes in the ground. Maybe some flowers. Maybe a bush, a mighty bush. 
Do 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 Okay. Is it this one I was using? Yeah. I'm tempted by the country fencing. I'm no longer tempted by the country. I've changed my mind. Okay, we're okay. that was a long and hard decision, clearly. Bloody Nora. I am breaking. What am I doing with my life? Uh, well, let's not go there. Do, 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 do. So this is Pashmina's. What would Pashmina have in her garden? I was thinking actually poolside bed is, is not a, too much of a long shot for Pashmina, really. I'm going to grab a lamppost. I'm just trying to see if anything grabs me. If anything sticks out and... Makes me think, yeah, cool. Cool beans. Big smiley happy fun face. And so far nothing's making me big smiley happy fun face. But something will. Big smiley happy fun face. Something soon. Got a couple of those. Seems like Pashmina kind of thing. Oh, I really like that actually. The moss ball. Very cool. Um, I'm going to need some weeds and stuff as well. Do we have any weeds? Yeah, let's grab those. Plant some red lilies, I guess. Yeah, okay. I don't really have a plan. We're just gonna stick things in and hope for the best. But when do we not, quite frankly? When is that not the plan? Oh yeah, friendship things. Just to go back to the topic I was talking about 20 minutes ago. So basically, you start at 25, and I think to get to best friends, which is when you can start to get photos, you need something like 250. So considering the relatively small amount you get, it's actually, um, it's quite a lot of work. It, it, it takes some time to get to that kind of friendship level. Wrong. I'm much happier with this than I was in my design before. You just have room now. I actually have space. I don't know how far this should go up at the back, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Is that right? Is that wrong? No, that's right. Okay. Eh, it's a little annoying. I would have liked to put like a little flower bed between the two. Let's go up to the back. This path is probably not going to be here. It's probably going to be further to the north, so... It's just really a temporary little thing right now. Oh, I need to... Okay, one second. Bear with me. Bear with me. From now on, I will only say bear with me if I'm standing next to Grizzly, okay? For what a humorous joke that would be. We need to craft a little bit of a fence. A fence that we've never used before. I'm very excited. Oh yeah, that's a new thing I got. Where is it? There you go. I'll check, actually, because I've probably picked up quite a few recipes that you haven't technically seen. So we've got that, we've got that. That's the garden rock I was on about. Really cool. Uh, golden gears, sand cushions. I think all of these were done off video. Just working on the collection very slowly. Um, right, which order do I even want this in? Series? Series. So, fencing. Fencing, fencing. If I was a fence, where would I be? I would be here. We're looking for this one, the iron fence. Oh, sorry, I'm really low on nougats. Is 10 enough? Eh. I actually don't use the nougats often at all anymore. I used to use them constantly to just sort of build better tools as we went, but now since I just buy those tools from Nux Cranny, it doesn't really matter anymore. Tell you what we'll do. Tell you what we'll do. I'm just going to grab some flowers from up here, because this area is not going to stay like this anyway, so. I'm going to grab a yellow, a red, and a hybrid. Okay. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. No, not, not what I want to do, kid. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Could have just got the ones on the left, I realised that, but leave me alone. Do, do, do. The whole place is just filled with random things. Oh, can I go further down? Yeah, yeah, I can. And then this fence, the idea, so let's go here. I swear you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> Get out the way, Ronald!
I'm not convinced by this. But I figured we may as well experiment. Everyone experiments in college. I think having brakes in it for like the those things would be better, but I think it needs that little bit of metal. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when there's stuff everywhere, essentially. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um I'm tempted to bring this path down. Eh, it's fine, whatever. Okay, we need custom designs. Just gonna do our little yeah, these. Any chance you want to let me do it here? That would be really cool. Game, you want to be awesome? You want to be big? Come on, be cool. Yes, you baller. Do, 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 do. And we actually need a bit more fence. Really brings in the room, doesn't it? Like you just you lose all space. Yeah, it's not it's not quite vibing the way I would have liked so far. But it's an improvement. It's not saying much, but it is an improvement. Um, right. What's the idea then? What's these biotope things? There's, just, there's actually no space to put anything, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I thought I was going to do this. Maybe they can go at the side of the house. I think part of my problem is the fencing. Like, it could be nice if somehow it was on the edge of the grid. So, let's say you had... You know, like these two paths here aren't connected. So, it'd be nice if the fence took up that space. I realise why that doesn't work on the current grid system, don't get me wrong, but that'd be quite nice. Eh, okay. And then I'm going to put down some... I don't think I'm going to use the log stakes. Let's use the... It is funny how just putting down some stuff like this just makes it all look a lot better. Get my weed on. How is there no room? What about like right in front of me? Yeah. Can I not put them here? That's really annoying. Rolled. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> are they in different places actually? Yeah, they are. It's hard to tell because the houses stick out on the right. It's, it's, it's a step in the right direction. It's not... It's not... It's missing something, vibe-wise. I don't really know what it is. Let me wrap this fence around the back. Blacker, blacker. It's me wrapping. Nope. Should be able to go here, right? Shouldn't really need room around the actual back of the house, so... Hey, pickups. I'm <laughs> just going to put down a couple of weeds before we do this. There we go. And do the same over here. Okay. <laughs> the game's clearly decided it doesn't want to put them anywhere that I want to put them. There we go. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Okay. Well, it does feel more like a nice self-enclosed plot now. I think if there's another one on the left, maybe it'll start to come together a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm not convinced at this point in time, but I think we can make it work. I think we just need to keep messing around with it and we'll, we'll get somewhere good. I need to look at my... There is a particular design that I've been using for inspiration, so maybe I just need to look at that again as well. It'd be nice if I could get like halfway between these. I don't necessarily want that, but yeah, it's it's something. It's something. <laughs> I just can't help it. Every time I see him, maybe I don't want the rock beneath the fencing. Maybe that's it. Tell you what, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have a cheeky little peek, okay? All the best peeks are cheeky, just so you're aware. 
at the um, <clears throat> the one I'm using for inspiration. What does it look like? How is that different than what I do? Oh, right, okay. Uh, hmm, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. They actually don't. Ah. Okay, one thing they do do is actually connect the path directly. <laughs> do do. <sighs> do do. Like that. And then fencing is actually. In I, do I actually think that looks better, yeah. It blends the house in more, I guess. Although they've got a triple. Oh, baby, it's a triple. And then more room between the houses. Hmm. We could do a triple. It looks nicer. I think it looks better. Not that I just want to steal the design ideas completely off other people, but um, I'm just trying to make it look nice. Let's see what it looks like. Let me do that. No spices. I do think that's an improvement. I don't know if this is too big. You know, this this half area feels chunky. Not that there's anything wrong with chunkiness, don't get me wrong. But it feels like a lot. Why does it not have the same vibe? I'm even using the same fence. I didn't even mean to use the same fence, but I am. I need, it needs maybe some trees and stuff, yeah. And this path is maybe not selling it to me, but... I don't, I don't think it's a million miles away from a nice star. We'd get some trees in here, get some more stuff terraforming in here, and get some water in here and stuff like that. I think I might try to find a different path for the right-hand side. Make it more like... Yeah. Also wish I'd done more space between the houses again. It's oddly difficult to do this, honestly. <laughs> like, every time I plan something out, it goes terribly wrong. I just don't have the room. I never have the room. really don't, because what I'd, I'd like it to be there, and that clearly isn't on the path, but it makes me do this. Eh. So it has to go one down. It's gonna get there, folks. It's gonna get there. I'm not gonna totally base my inspiration off of a Zyra. I think this style for these three, and then we'll mix it up a little bit more as we get further up there as well. It's gonna look nice. It is. It is. I, I'm confident. I'm not worried anymore. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> okay, no emotional breakdowns at least. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'll see you lovely folks tomorrow. Um, we'll probably just hone in completely on the housing area tomorrow. Try to get both Hornsby and... Um, we'll try to get all three houses. Oh no, it's Hornsby and Book on the next two, right? Yeah, so we'll try to get Hornsby and Books. This whole area done and looking really, really nice. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. We'll do that tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks then. Cheers much love as always. Bye-bye.